What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. Hey, I did an unboxing and give you a first look of this by Vannon. It's the Auto Fireman. I want to do now a full review of it and give it actually a test today. So we have clear skies outside, and so I'm going to actually light some stuff and fire and see if it works. But just to remind you, we do have a, uh, a brochure in here or like a, a user guide, fast installation. But I've, I've learned more about it, and I can kind of tell you, give you the lay of land of how it works. First of all, here are your two fire extinguishing units, right? So these are kind of the, the heavy lifters of the whole deal so there's some sort of there's some sort of chemical and what I was reading is that it kind of comes out basically um, when it gets triggered this top layer kind of burns away in sequence and the chemical vents out when the chemical vents out it actually has some sort of chemical reaction that makes it fairly um, you know biodegradable I kind of want to say but it's non flammable so hopefully it should extinguish the fire so what I've seen is that as this uh, you know inside this this hole these holes that material kind of burns away it vents out or kind of ejects the the chemical and that's what really extinguishes the fire that's the retardant or the the suppressor there um, now when you're attaching these because they have really strong magnets on the bottom side here they're not physically I mean they're not permanently attached they're just like magnets coin magnets and they are super super tough so what you do is you kind of put these on like the strut towers of your car like this and because this vents up you know if you do have an engine fire the hood is going to contain everything and kind of compress everything to where the fire is so we're going to have to you know kind of improvise a little bit i'm actually going to have these pointed down towards the fire in my test because i'm not going to have it completely encased otherwise we wouldn't see it so i'm going to use a like a screen and i'm going to put these on the bottom side of the screen and have them uh, venting down towards the fire uh, and as you can see we have two connectors here and that's because you get this cord here which is like a fire cord and what we do is we take the ends here and this is essentially like the fuse. And basically what we do here is it just looks like we take this and we push it all the way in here, right? So we just kind of jam them in uh, to both sides. And then when flame or temperature eventually like burns the cord, I'm not sure if the cord has to burn all the way through, it just has to get burnt. But that, that ends up triggering the the two units and so it's a really low tech thing the you know, wiring to fuse boxes you know you don't have to worry in any uh worry about anything they are totally you know just kind of a low tech um you know which is great oh man it's tough tough uh tough ma or really powerful magnets uh, so you don't have to have like a high-tech car they can work on anything why are these great maybe you have an older car maybe you work on cars maybe you have a track car or a modified car you know there's all sorts of things that can end up causing you know fires uh, in, in cars or under engines and uh, or engine compartments you know just from like parking on something like parking on a pile of leaves and having your catalytic converter light them up sometimes you can uh, suck up a bag or road debris up and uh, sits against the exhaust headers and catches on fire there's all sorts of reasons why cars can catch on fire even when they're running perfectly right and if they're not running perfectly you're running high pressure um, fuel lines or something that rupture you know there's all sorts of reasons that we can do it too uh, Darwin's um, award but the uh, uh, there's all sorts of reasons that you might want to have these now you, you may not even need think you need it you know you have a new car you don't drive anywhere dangerous but maybe you just want a little peace of mind because the reality is if something does catch on fire and i've had cars where i've worked on them and kept a fire extinguisher in the in the passenger compartment but if you have to reach down pop your hood open the hood maybe the hood's too hot to to open maybe things have melted and the hood latch isn't going to release you almost can't you know treat the fire you can't get a fire extinguisher in it you're kind of uh you know blowing it in through the cracks or through the the front grill and sometimes that's just not going to work so something like this is really kind of clever and you know uh they're not that expensive and so it's a little bit of insurance to just kind of keep your whole car from going up obviously you'll have some damage but if you have valuables if you have people in the car things like that it's going to be a whole lot better to have damage to the engine compartment than to 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 lose any valuables that you might have or valuable people in your car so really clever idea almost kind of should come standard on cars if it's just just like um, a small amount of money but I want to test this and really see if it works you know I don't want to just have it and show you about it and then not know that they work so let's go outside and uh, light these things up and see if we can put out a fire with them all right guys so what I have here is the top of my little outdoor fire pit it's all metal so the, these things should stick to it uh, the magnets should at least and so <laughs> what I'm gonna do here is try to get these two magnets apart and get one over here and then I'm gonna take this cord as I showed you, the one end here, and just jam it into this uh, this piece here, 
that's all we need to do. So I'm going to jam it in there. Looks like it makes some sort of connection. It's a little hard to see, but got a little hole right there. It looks like it's making some sort of connection to the other end. And then I'm going to take the other end here. And just jam it in there. All right, I think that's it. So now, because we have these magnets, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put them uh, on the underside of this, this grill here. And they're going to stick because it's all metal. So I'm going to have them facing down. I'm going to lift this up, and then I'm going to kind of drape the cord over the middle of the fire here um, because what I do have here is a little fire in this fire pit already going. So I'm just going to kind of put this on, let the cord, you know, drape into the fire, and uh, you know, see if the sucker works. So let's give it a shot. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. That was kind of crazy. Um, I actually didn't expect it to go quite that fast. And as you can see, um, you know, when I threw it in there, one of them actually fell out because I was trying to get it on there quickly. But it sure didn't take long. And as you can see, it didn't burn through the cord, kind of just lit up the cord. So I guess it gets just to a certain temperature where it sends that trigger to the um, to the extinguisher. Now, the fire is not out, right? I mean, we're not to argue in that, but um, the, the reality is, as you saw here, a lot of that spray was just lost because this isn't like a, you know, confined area at all, you know? And, and one, obviously, you know, under a hood, a flame is gonna have trouble burning anyway because of the kind of lack of oxygen and, and the air flowing through it. But um, in this case, it was totally open and, and obviously the, the retardant was kind of getting sprayed everywhere. But it obviously did do um, quite a bit to reduce that flame. And I think if, you know, this were under a car, it would work. I'll be honest, man, I don't know how they do it, but that little cord activator to the extinguisher um, worked very quickly. And that extinguisher was kind of loud and violent, man. It really shot that stuff out of there. So. Uh, I'll replay that in maybe a slow-mo, but it was awesome. I love it, man. Uh, I would have no worries about putting something like this in my car, to be honest. This uh, auto uh, fire extinguisher is pretty awesome, and, you know, and it's not doing anything if it, there's no fire. And even if I, I would say, even if it goes off and there is no fire, I mean, what's, you know, I'd rather have the insurance. So, dude, I'm really impressed with it. That's kind of crazy. There it is. My first test. Thumbs up from the panda. Peter Brown Panda. Out.